With the wide array of intercoms on the market, it can be difficult for us, the riders, to choose one that actually best suits our needs. So luckily today, we have three intercoms from Interphone um, themselves. Kindly, they've sent us the Ucom 6R, 7R and 8R. Let's take a closer look. What's in the box? Well, I've already unboxed the Ucom 7R because it's not too dissimilar in terms of what comes in the packaging. So on the inside, you'll find the mounts for the helmet. So you've got one that clips on as well as an adhesive mount. On the inside, you also get a 32 mil speaker for the 6R and the 7R, whereas on the 8R, the only difference is that that's a 40 mil speaker. Apart from that, everything is exactly the same. You have a boom mic uh, to go for your flip top helmets and one that can attach to your full face helmets, as well as a USB-C charger, your 3M adhesive tapes, as well as user manuals in varying different languages that I can't speak. Now, that's all well and good, but what can this actually do? Let's talk about the range. Gone are the days you have to be meters apart from each other in order to hear each other. So out with the old and in with the new we have the 6R and the 7R that gives you up to one kilometer or 0.6 miles for us British and American folk. Now that's pretty impressive but with the 8R mesh unit you get up to 1.6 kilometers or 0.994149 miles. Now that's some social distancing. For the connectivity the 6R and the 7R use Bluetooth which is your traditional way a comms unit would work. So what basically happens is you will create a daisy chain link between your intercom system so you'll have one here and another one there. For the 6R you can only connect up to one other rider whereas on the 7R you can connect up to four. Now this is all well and good if your team is good at riding together as a group however if you're a new rider like myself and my friends are new riders as well we tend to get lost quite often so that would mean we would have to pull over to the side of the road to reconnect our group together. Now this is where mesh comes in. On the Ucom 8R, it is a mesh only unit, but with that being said, it means that it doesn't have a connection that is linked through a daisy chain, such as that of the Bluetooth. Instead, you have a web of connections. A web of connections basically means every rider is connected to each other. So if one person from your group was to leave, your connection with the rest of the group will still stay intact. Now, if one rider wanted to join, all they would have to do is to press one click of the button on the side of the unit, and they'll be in the mesh only mode. And after that, every time they leave and rejoin, they'll just join your network once again. And with the Ucom 8R, you can have up to 24 people in your group at one time. Across all the ranges, the 6R, 7R and 8R, you're still able to listen to your music, connected to GPS and your TFT displays on your motorcycles. And all that happens is when you're talking to your other fellow riders, the music will drop down into the background. With the Mesh United comms unit, the 8R, it means that you can allow yourself to be connected to other brands using Mesh with extensive connectivity with Senna. Now, with all Mesh units from Intercom, you have an app that you can connect to called Interphone Unite. This allows you at the touch of a button to access all the features and settings of your comms unit right in front of your face without having to finagle with the buttons on the side of your unit and trying to figure out what sequence it is to, in order to unlock the ability to listen to your music. Now, with all that technology, how do they protect it? When it comes to the durability of these units, they are rated an IP67. Now what that means is it's dustproof, sandproof, and also waterproof. See? Ah, that's not good enough. That's better. Interphone have a massive history of making super reliable and super durable intercoms. Take this for example. I've had this for the past eight years, and it's still working to this day. Only now, it speaks to me in French. Bonjour. Now for the music, like I said earlier, there is a 32 mil speaker for the 6R and 7R, but currently in my helmet at the moment, I have the 40 mil speakers. So let's test them out on the road. Now, when it comes to the music and audio, they all perform really well. But well, currently I'm using the 8R, which has the 40 mil speakers as compared to the 6 and 7 that only have 32 mils. Now, nonetheless, the music is really great across the board, but I find that this 40 mil is good in urban speeds and motorway speeds. It gives you that perfect balance being able to hear the road noise as well as the music that you're listening to. Now, anything above that, then you're probably less worried about whether or not you can hear Taylor Swift's anti-hero and more worried about whether the deer's going to be running out in front of you. Now, if you want to adjust the music levels itself, you have to do that on the 8R, as within the Unite app, they can actually change the treble and bass of the speakers to give you that more well-rounded sound. 
Hold on a second, I think we're getting a phone call. Hello? Uh, hi mum, uh, I'm currently at work, I'm filming a video. Alright, can I call you back in a little while? Alright, thank you. Sorry about that. Anyway, hey Siri, start playing music. Now, for the battery life and the talk time, the 6R and 7R have a 15 hour talk time on Bluetooth, whereas the 8R diminishes that with a 18 hour talk time on the mesh mode, which is a far cry better than what they had on the Ucom 16 at only eight hours. Now, in terms of other features within the intercom units, you still have the ability to answer phone calls through a touch of a button on the side, or via the hands-free on the 8R. Now you have voice controls as well, but with the 6 and 7R, you do have to access a button on the side. Whereas on the 8R, you could literally just say, hey Siri, tell me the time, and it will do that for you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a Ucom unit for every type of rider. So let's break that down for you. So the Ucom 6R is what I believe for someone who is a lone wolf, who likes riding on their own, but still wants the ability to connect to their music, to their GPS and their TFT displays. And now the 7R is kind of that perfect in between. You kind of like going out riding with just some of your friends, but you still just want to be able to listen to your music, have the GPS and all those other features as well. Now, if you're the sort of person that likes this top spec or what they call the future of intercom systems, then you might opt for the Ucom 8R as it does have that mesh and it has you the ability to connect up to 24 other riders and you have all those fun little features like having an app to use your settings and all those other features within that. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please do consider subscribing, give us a like, give us a comment down below and uh, ride safe and see you all soon.